my friends welcome to my 200 3d cat models in free cat series today i'll be working on exercise 182 which looks like the other end of a piston or something that uh, you can see in the oil field and i exactly don't know how to explain that but we will build this model in freecad.22 developers version and probably in part design workbench and i want to start working on this model from this face which is the front face to x the plane it is right there let's go ahead and relocate the image so bring in the axis cross by pressing ac on the keyboard and then relocate the image by right clicking on it and select transform this looks like a good spot let's take the axis cross away and start sketching so i i'll say it uh, i'll be building this model in part design so create a body and create a sketch on xz plane all right so it will have to be done in two steps so let's go ahead and build sketch so let's do the cylinder first so this will be 30 diameter and then outside diameter is this one that's what we want which is diameter 50 okay considering that this is sketch is at the middle we want to extrude that for the entire length the inside length so that would be 50 total so let's go ahead and pad it up for 50 millimeter and make it symmetric to the plane there now on this face we want to make these planes which is okay let's make sketch on that face and then we want to draw one circle that is 50 millimeter diameter and another circle that is 70 millimeter diameter now that i'm thinking because we build this model up to this line i may have to reduce this inside diameter to this point which happens to be diameter 30 otherwise that would be a gap in there which we don't want All right so this is the flange and i want to extrude that for five millimeter towards me All right just like that and then let's go ahead and mirror it over on the other side it would be xz plane against so select xz plane and see that pad one is there that's the flange that we just built and we got that part taken care of now let's go ahead quickly draw another sketch on xz plane this time it will be for this hammerhead part and i i want to turn on the section view all right so this one it looks a bit okay let's start working on it I want to bring in the original pad that sketch back so I can get some reference from this sketch and then let's hide that sketch now all right and now I want to start with straight line so that would be from this I don't I'll add it later but I want to start from here right and then maybe take the polyline from here right so just like that i'm not sure if that's a straight line or not but let's keep working on it and i want to come all the way up to this axis and then take it all the way up here and then hit mmm the other way Not this way uh maybe i'll have to do it manually so take the curve 
and then start from this point to that point right and now i want to make these two equal right so that fixes it there and let's make this two vertical and then so there is already tangency applied let's make this two horizontal right and then i want to say this is 60 and obviously it will be symmetric by this axis so that's s on the keyboard and then this length is given as 20 and then this length is given as 20 and obviously it says 20 on both sides so which means this is angle 45 135 in a to say it the other way all right and then let's go ahead and make this two symmetric as well so we can do that or either we can just make another angle reference here and now i want to make these two equal so e on the keyboard and select this one and then say this is radius 20. right we have three degrees of freedom left and one of them is this so let's say this point is 45 and then i want to make these two points on the same horizontal plane h on the keyboard and then we have one degree of freedom left which is i don't know which one it is okay so there is something left and let's close it open it up oh there it is so this point is not constrained on this axis so let's see that so c for constraint and that's a fully constrained sketch and this one i want to extrude that for 20 millimeter so that's pad 20 millimeter symmetric to the plane i've been using part workbench for so many times and the pad uh, is extruded in my mind all right anyway so that's our actually object 182 pretty simple uh, easily done in part design since we are in part design we didn't have to do any boolean operation other than that everything is same on this object with part workbench hopefully you like this video uh, thank you for watching if you have any question comment or suggestion please leave them below in the comment section of this video and also take a look at this uh, model on on cell I'm, I'm building this library of this whole 200 model on on sale so i'll leave the link in the description of this video as well uh, see you later bye